His soul leaves his body, floats up to heaven. Samson gets to heaven, and God is right there waiting at the pearly gates. God says, you're early. And Samson immediately feels a sense of shame about how he died. And God reads his mind. And God says, remember I told you about that backstabbing girlfriend? They call her Double D Delilah for a reason, Double Dirty. And Samson replies, you know, psst, don't, okay, okay, dad. Samson calls God his dad. So God, you know, hands him a cold beer, gives him a hug. They sit down on a cloud to contemplate because Samson's not really ready to go through the pearly gates yet. He's still thinking, oh, why was I such an idiot, you know? And after a few gulps of beer, Clink, you know, he says to God, you know, I was raised in the desert. I had all these raging hormones. The first girl I see is humongo. I mean, I got tunnel vision, you know, it hit me. <laughs> and God says, well, what hit you? And Samson says, well, I've been, I've been hit by cannonballs, by spears, by chariots, by speeding camels, by armies of men beating down on me. I can beat them all back. I pulverize them. You can bring an army against me, and? And God says, you know, I, I warned you. I said power is not the most powerful thing in the world. Love is. And Samson says, there I was, the strongest man on earth. Instead of being powerful, one look at her, and I became powerless. I felt my heart squeeze. And then I got down on one knee just because. And God says, well, you're here now. Let's go inside. And God points to the gates of heaven. And Samson says, wait, that's it. You send me one chick who's hot and here I am, dead? And God says, it's not the big things that kill you, Sammy. Not a nuclear bomb, not the military, not war. It's a five foot two double D cup strawberry blonde. It's always the small things that will kill you. Small things that will save you. The road to heaven is paved with a million small baby steps. And Samson responds, We, you prepared me my whole life to conquer any force that comes against me. Why did I lose? And God says, because it's the human impulse to lose, not to win. You fall in love, Sammy. You don't climb it. And Samson says, what? My whole life was win after win after win. I was a winner. You never trained me to be a loser. So I didn't know how to deal with losing when it started happening. And God's like, it's godlike to win. It's human to lose. My mistake, Sammy. I trained you how to be a god. I didn't realize that there was still an impulse within you that longed to be human as well as a god. You're more like me than I realize, Sammy. You're just like dad. And Samson says, what are you talking about? And God's like, it's important now I know, I didn't know because it's still early in the development of the human race, but I'm learning. Both you and me, Sammy, like father, like son, apple don't fall far from the tree. And Samson says, what are you saying? God says, I trained you to be a superhero, a god, a leader, just like dear old dad, but I forgot about training you how to be a human being, a lover, a follower. When I saw you following her around like a puppy dog, I realized my mistake. As a god, the divine impulse within you wants to rise. As a human, the impulse within you wants to fall in love. And Samson asks, why? And God says, to co-create, 
to do it all over again and be new, to live life a second time through the eyes of your beloved, your pet, or your child. The newness of life is the doorway to wonder. The secret to being a creator, godlike, powerful, is knowing everything. The secret to being a co-creator, a human being, is knowing nothing. You knew nothing of Delilah when you saw her, and you fell into wonder and curiosity. You were her blank canvas. She could paint any fantasy onto you, and you longed to fulfill her vision of you. And Samson asks, well, why didn't you stop me? And God answers, I tried, but Sammy. And Samson says, yeah, dad. And God says, when you held up those pillars of the temple, and the Bible says it was because I gave you one last surge of strength. I wasn't using the power of power to power your muscles. I was using the power of love. All those years you were a hero because you were a god. In that last hour of your life, you were a hero because you were human. You've always pressured yourself to be strong. Mistake, you should practice being weak every now and then, because you suck at being weak, and it smoked you first time out of the gate. Being weak, you got clobbered. Being weak is a skill like any other. There's an art to it. Delilah's a master at it. She used her weakness to overpower your strength. Being a god is overrated. Learning how to be human is what will save you in the end. When you're someone's god, you become their slave. When you're human, you become their equal. When you are someone's god, they worship you. So you always have to look good. Watch how many carbs you eat because you can't get fat or old. You always have to be nice. You aren't allowed to cuss. You have to be Mr. Perfect 100% of the time. You're a slave to people's image of you. You're not free. You've got to stand up on that pedestal and smile 24 hours a day. When you're someone's human, you become real. If you were human to Delilah, not just a god, she would have hesitated before betraying you. Stop trying to be a saint, Samson. Stop trying to be worshipped. That was never the goal of your life or your calling. Start being human. Start being loved. That's the dream of your soul. The dream of your soul is always human, to be as human as possible. It's never about being a god, because gods are otherworldly. They don't live in this world. The dream of your soul lives in this world. The dream of your soul is about you. It's never about who someone else wants you to be. You spent your whole life, Samson, relying on your hair. In the last moment of your life, you relied on yourself without your hair. The part of me that lives inside of you is not your hair. Your hair might have given you external might and power, but the inner strength you needed to bring down the house of the Philistines the last day of your life was strength that came from you. It was a strength needed to humble yourself and become equal with your fellow man in life and in death. The greatest strength is not strength, it's humility. The dream of your ego is to be a hero, the strongest man in the nation. The dream of your soul is to be humble, because then you will be stronger than the strongest man in history, the strongest man to ever live, which is the average woman. Clearly, because Delilah smoked your ass. <laughs> so Samson begs God, oh, please tell me how to live the dream of my soul before I get into heaven to be stronger than I've ever been. And God says, okay, look me in the eyes. Repeat after me. I am not my hair. I am more than my hair. And Samson's like, okay, okay, but it, 
or it's, it's going to grow back, right? I'm not going to have alopecia be bald for eternity. As soon as we go through those gates, right? My hair is just going to, it's going to grow all the way back down to my waist, right? Because, I mean, I can say it, oh, I'm more than my hair, but you know, it's, it's, it's do you want to like, do you just want to, do you want to just touch my scalp and just kind of like bless it, make the miracle, the hair grow, you know, yeah, do you want to just wait? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 is that a yes? 